this rambling. Ignore me. And here's the bread of the butter of what I wanted to show you. Bolt Garden. The new Warhammer 40k bolt gun trailer is out as voice actor Rahal Kahali reveals how he got into character. So it comes out May 23rd, which is really cool. Um, this is kind of a boomer shooter, as you can see from the graphics. Doom-esque. Ooh, there is the voice actor, and that is his character. Very, very cool. Ooh, that's some very nice art right there as he's shooting down Black Legion with some you know, those purple terrors around him. Uh, Bolt Gun will come out on Steam, PS5, PS4, Xbox Series, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Very cool, but we're going to play the trailer. Um, this part, if I upload it, is probably going to get hit with a copyright ID claim for music from bogus creators, but I don't care. Here we go. We're going to watch it. <laughs> Very awesome! Die here, Six! Shred! Purge! Oh, gross! Very, very cool. Oh, we don't need to do that again, thank you. The 40th anniversary of Warhammer has been filling us with nostalgia, and the new trailer for Warhammer 40,000 Bolt Gun is only making things better. This is a glorious, retro pulse pounding first person shooter where you play as a Space Marine, a one man army gunning through pixelated heretic hordes. Don't just take our word for it. Watch the trailer right here, which we did. This awesome game lets us experience the ultimate homage to retro shooters, blending 80s style visuals with fluid modern FPS gameplay and you won't have to wait long to play it. It's out May 23rd, which I've already said. Someone else is just in the as, as we are, is Rahul Kohili. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, actor and devout Ultramarines fan. But unlike us, Rahul was asked by the developers of Auroch Digital to voice the main character. We sat down for a chat to find out what he said it was like to play Space Marine. The folks at RH Digital got in contact with my team and asked if I'd be interested in doing the voicing of the pro protagonist, Rahul said. I immediately said yes, and why not? Space Marines are awesome, um, but why Ultramarines? Everything is Ultramarines. Give <laughs> glory to another chapter. There's a definitely a particular voice style that the Space Marines have across the various forms of media. Before recurring sessions, I was sent a Warhammer Bible, which has the do's and don'ts for portraying such a character. That is interesting. I wonder if that is something they send out to everybody that does Warhammer stuff. And I'm glad they do that. <laughs> because Warhammer has, is such a big universe and there's so much lore and so much things that it is it's important to make warhammer feel like warhammer and not some kind of generic setting um with kind of modern lingo and slang luckily there's a wealth of warhammer media out there so finding inspiration wasn't too hard i watched angles of death ruhal explained and i recently played through space marine that is a very good game that is an excellent game. So I had good vocal reference. This is almost regular or almost regal or Shakespeare uh, tonality way to speak. That is very true with Space Marines. Yes, that is accurate. I just wore an Ultramarines t-shirt, some heavy boots, and blasted my lines in the mic and crossed my fingers. Very cool. Rahal is re relatively new to the 40... Warhammer 40,000 having picked up his first uh, box in January of 2022, but it's still a dream role for him. I feel incredibly lucky to be a part of the Warhammer universe, said Raul. 
I only recently became a fan and it has chosen my chapter, The Ultramarines, because I'm a sucker for the art, box art. Yep, that is very true. That's how a lot of people pick their armies is by the art, the rule of cool. Over the past year or so, I found the community to be so welcoming. That is also very true. Despite all the people that screech into the void that is Twitch, the Warhammer community is actually very welcoming and they are a very nice group of people. There's just a few people that would try to be, would be dictators and assholes who are more like, I really hate to use this word, but it's a word that a lot of people use, which is hobby tourists. They come in, you know, they're just kind of on a tour bus touring the hobby, saying they're a part of the hobby when they're not. That's a, but that's another topic for another time. To, to have voice an ultramarine in a first-person shooter, I mean, I've kind of peaked. It definitely feels like the perfect project. As you can see, you're shooting the heretics right there. So I did watch, somebody did get to play the demo for this a little bit early. I do like the guy's channel. Um, and he said, when you are doing the chain sword, the more you hold it down, the more damage it does. But you can also like use it to rapidly hit things too, so you don't actually have to hold it down and, and chaw through that guy like he's meant to the butter. An avid painter, uh, Rahul has convinced, oh, converted his own model of Mal Malum Kando, the Ultramarines veteran that he voices in the game, based on parts of the Stern Guard veteran kits. It looks almost identical to the awesome art that accompanies. Ooh, that accompanies the game. That's very cool that he did that. He's got the beaky helmet. Very cool. He did a really good job. Way better than what I can do. <laughs> that's that's really awesome. Yeah, there's the art for it. That is very awesome. And it's not the only project Radukul is working on. I'm sorry if I'm butchering his name. Uh, that's not that's not what I'm trying to do. I have an insurmountable task of painting up my ultramarines. Some kill team sets, my dark a dark Age of Darkness box, the Canadian uh, <laughs> Canadia, yes, yeah, Space Canadia stands army test some leagues of Voltan and some countless others. I snatched up immediately are now sitting in a cupboard. Awesome, very cool, very very cool. Yes, unfortunately, Space Canada has fallen. Um, that's not Space Canada. I just can't. I can't speak tonight. Man, I cannot speak tonight. And that's all I wanted to show off. Um, just for now, I just wanted to do a little, a little stream. And there was so much scuff. I butchered so much stuff. Oh my, my throat is killing me. I've mumbled on or rambled on long enough. I am so sorry. So so sorry. But uh, yeah, that that was pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Thank you all those who, who uh, stopped on by and checked out the stream. That's all I wanted to show off right now. 35 minutes of streaming. My voice is dead. I have i don't feel like I did this justice. I'm sorry. I tried. I really did. So let's go over here to just chatting for a bit. And let's see if there's somebody that I can raid. I always mess this up. I really do always mess this up all right first of all i need to get out of this boom um like i said the music was from slipstream it was not from warhammer so they cannot they they cannot uh try to false id claim the music i don't know why they did that i, I really don't know why that that those guys did that anyway that was it must have been a bot or whatever i did fight the I'm fighting the appeal, and they're not going to do anything. They're just going to let the appeal sit there, and after 30 days, I'll get my videos. I mean, they're not gone, but I'll get the copyright IDs, claim stuff off of them, which is a load of bull. That's what a lot of fraudulent companies will do, because those videos were doing well. Those videos were doing very well. Um, they will do that to try to put ads on the video and stuff like that, but no, I fought them. So they can't put ads on the video and they cannot get any revenue for those videos on YouTube. Not that I my videos are monetized anyway. So let's see here. Let. Okie dokie. Artemachoki. 
Hopefully I don't mess this up. Alright, I have a tendency to mess this up, but we're going to raid Gizmo Cat. Go have fun, be nice. <laughs> 